Can't wait for the tech to drop. Can't wait to try it out. Um, and then, when you're really feeling it, you can try out the latest update that comes right after the eye contact. Uh -huh. uh, the high banter setting. You can, uh, you can drag that way up to the top and just be like, damn, these quips, these quips are rolling in. <laughs> they, they, they I, feel like, I feel like there's actually a lot to talk about this, despite the fact. So we're talking about for spoken. Yeah, it, it's for... actually gotten a more like nuanced as time has go on, gone on, I feel. Because for spoken demo came out. Plus, the um, embargo went up for the people who were uh, journalists who were playing the full copies. So people are talking about their full impressions of the game. And something that's been oh, been coming in pretty consistently has been, game's pretty fun. Um, the magic stuff is stylish, albeit a little bit basic in that you're just doing, like, you know, avatar element bending. Mm -hmm. um, but everyone's like, combat's cool. The 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 Whedon esque speak in the in the in the trailers and such is happening a, a bunch. Of course, it does lighten up and it does like start. There are instances of it being less egregious as time goes on, especially once the plot gets rolling. But there is tons of moments of it where you're gonna do the eye roll and you're gonna kind of cringe out a bit. And the clips that have been shared around have been a mixture of ones that I'm like, you know what? That's not that bad. That's fine. And I then the one where some that are just like to shut the fuck is actually decent. Right, right. Yeah, uh, uh, that's it. You know. And then there's the ones where it's like, just the I'm really doing it. I'm really, you I know. Did it's it. just, wow, yeah. I did it! Wow! Oh my god, I did it! Which has then elicited the counterpoints where some people are saying, "Hey, man, if you were a real person, just like you know, suddenly given powers, you would have some bewilderment as well." And it's like, yeah, yes. but I wouldn't, I wouldn't repeat that phrase ten times in a row. And there, it will, and there's exactly there's there's ways to go about it, I suppose. You know, you wouldn't be as nonplussed as a Zagreus would be, certainly. But this has become the entire uh, uh, meme of this game because of how much of the yeah. the Whedon esque dialogue there is. So uh, there's two things. One is like people are, are there, the the sentiment came out of like you can turn the banter and gameplay down with this feature. Uh, to which point most people are like, that's stupid. That doesn't fix the dialogue. That the, the, You should judge a game based on its default settings, mm -hmm. right? Like, this is the amount of dialogue they want you to hear. It also doesn't change the um, the cutscenes, right? That's just the in-game play banter. Uh, but the other thing, I saw somebody make the point, because uh, people, and you mentioned it as well, you called it the Whedoning, the Whedon, Whedon dialogue. whedon -esque, that, yeah started to like flood everything around when avengers came out hmm. and uh i saw the point made that it's whedon was a symptom of the larger problem and the larger problem is punch up hmm. is hey there's not enough in this that's mm -hmm. genuine or sincere or interesting enough to actually be its own story I mean, we got to get somebody in there to punch it up, make it snappy moment so, to moment. So I, it's even, I'd say it's, it is punch up. It's even simpler than that. It's holy fuck, Guardians blew up. What's the formula? 60% comedy? Make that 65% comedy, right? And um, it, it's, it's like we've had our scenes because the, the uh, phase one, think about the early Thor movies. There were jokes. There weren't many. Yeah. So the, right? the comparison the person made was Guardians and Thor Two, mm -hmm. Dark Thor World Two was not punched up at all, and you get to see what a Marvel movie without Marvel quips in it looks like, and it's <laughs> Kat Dennings is the joke character. She does all the jokes for the rest of the cast, you know. Um, and so the thing about it, of course, is early on, and 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 I've said it every time because. I'm somebody who loved that kind of fun dialogue when it was rare earlier on. When it was, the, I found the quips to be charming and like, oh yeah, okay. People acting like, you know, the the sarcastic people we know in real life or whatever and being witty. Um, 
you know, when characters are, when, when it stood out as, a, as something a little more unique. Now, when you oversaturate, you get to the point where we are seeing it nonstop, and it's also just like nothing can actually be taken for real or sincerely because everything must be like dismissed emotionally, you know, with this mm -hmm. type of tone. You run into this problem. Um, when I'm reading about the intro to Forsaken, um, uh, or Forspoken, Forsaken. Um, whatever. Fuck. Anyway, uh, I, I the setting involves the main character, I believe, like going through a suicide attempt. Right? It seems like that's uh, a, like a part of the intro is like her, like you know, getting whisked away, like uh, from like a, a world of extreme, just you know, uh, like darkness and such. Um, no? Am I crazy on that? I thought she got hit by a truck and then went to the isekai. Alright, hold on. I read, um, Gene's article on it. And, uh... Um, Did you read it carefully? I read it before we went live, so admittedly, no. I will, I will, I'll straight up cop to that. I did not read it carefully. Um... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look it up right now. Oh fuck! It's not Forsaken. It's Forspoken. Is this Forspoken? For spoken? Oh. Uh, playing as Frey, you're a 21 year old orphan New Yorker who loves her cat and kicks. Performed by the very capable and charismatic Ella Balinska. She's had a very difficult life, and the game doesn't shy away from the fact that Frey is suicidal. This is what I'm making reference to. Okay, yeah, but it doesn't that doesn't say that. And she's about to end her. Oh, there we go. What? Uh, what? Go, read the rest. Read the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. There's a tenderness in how she cradles her cat, and he cries herself to sleep, unable to escape a merciless life that left her homeless and with a criminal record. As she's about to end her life, she finds a magical and sassy cuff that whisks her away. What that the, what, seems. Why am I being fucking? What are you guys talking hmm. about? Wait, her name is Frey. Probably not as cool as the other Frey. Did everyone just start, like, going in on something that they didn't actually know, and then we got to this place where we're like, what the fuck, Wooly Ra? What are you talking about? <laughs> God damn. All right. Anyways, so that um, being the case, it, I can imagine there being a, a, a tone to the story that could be interesting where – you know, someone who's like at their lowest low is now experiencing some wild new shit, and and um, <laughs> there would cutscenes now look even fucking weirder now. Who needs suicide? I've got magic powers. So, so what I was trying to say is the the tone of somebody from that place going into like a whole new world and getting. I guess finding motivation and, and things to love again and such and getting picked up could be an interesting thing, you know, if you wrote if you wrote it things in that way. Um, but that would need to be a subtle, gradual build from that point, I feel, to really underline that that sense of wonder you'd get from having these powers and shit when you're in such a dark place in life, you know? Um, to go straight to eleven on the the, the sarcasm train uh, again I haven't seen this myself but just it seems it seems like it would be totally dissonant with a moment like that occurring it does seem that way that seems that all that dialogue that I've seen now seems super weird with this with this this background detail this game seems fucking weird yeah, I, 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 I'm looking at, uh, at chat expecting an answer here, but I don't think that's going to be the way to do this. So anyway, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what's been going on with the discussion about it. And it also feels as well that this is just unfortunate timing with the, the amount they've done here too, because I, I, if this came out like 12 years ago, people would have still made fun of it for this over-the-top level of... Uh, Whedon-esque dialogue, but it wouldn't have been like the first and foremost thing about the game uh, uh, because now the discussion of people doing compilations of that just happened in MCU movies is mainstream. I don't know? know. I think the only reason anyone is talking about this game at all 
is because of its weird cringe dialogue. Because it is the only it's, thing I have seen anyone talk about this game. It is it is the standout thing. It is in fact the standout thing, and the the marketing didn't do it any favors by introducing it that way and then doubling down as the gameplay goes. But everyone talking about the the actual combat and stuff has been saying like, "Yo, pretty fun, right?" The parkouring and the switching to between the spells, and it takes a while to get all of the abilities, but once you have them. All of that flows into a, a combat system that, while you've seen it done before, ends up being pretty enjoyable, right? So it might have just gone by, you know, maybe not the wayside, but gone by as like, a, okay, cool, that's a that's a fun little thing. Um, wild when you consider, like, Agni's philosophy, you know, and the history of that as a whole. Because, um, like, tech demo doesn't equal compelling full-sized game. You know what, Wooly? Maybe we're just out of touch. Maybe that's how the kids talk now. Maybe we're out of time. It's possible we're just out of touch. If you are a youth, you can you can let us know if it is in fact just because we are out of touch. You're out of touch. You're out of time. Um well Anyways, in the meantime, I look forward to seeing uh, which Forspoken scenes are not as bad. And uh, we'll hear about that. Um, but yeah. You know, this it's, game it's... just looks like they wanted to do FF15 again. But have a real celebrity tie-in. To... Is it a celebrity? Uh, well, I mean, not huge, huge name. Not quite a Samanosuke uh, to a Yoroni Musha, level, you know, or, or so. But she was a thing. She was a person before that that was known. I'm sure she was. I'm sure everyone who was a thing was a person at some point. Do you mean um, like an actor? Yeah. Wait, is this game FF15? Uh, no, but combat-wise, apparently, it, it is Oh, it's the same engine. Yeah. Okay, so... Hmm, okay. Okay. Uh, 